Edexcel A-Level Maths, Pure Paper 1, Summer 2018, Question 10. So the height above ground, h metres, of a passenger on a roller coaster can be modelled by the differential equation dh by dt equals h cos 0.25t all over 40, where t is the time in seconds from the start of the ride. Given that the passenger is 5 metres above the ground at the start of the ride, show that h equals 5 e to the 0.1 sine 0.25t. So the first thing to notice is that we're going to integrate with respect to t, but on the right hand side we've got both h and we've got t. So to sort that out we're going to divide both sides by h, giving us 1 over h dh by dt equals cos 0.25t over 40. If we now integrate both sides with respect to t, on the left hand side the dt's cancel each other out so we end up with the integral of 1 over h with respect to h and then on the right hand side we're integrating with respect to t. The integral of 1 over h is ln h. The integral of the right hand side is a 40th times 4 sine 0.25t. Now these are both indefinite integrals so we've got a plus c on there as well. Simplifying that gives us ln h equals 0.1 sine 0.25t plus c. Now if we look at what we're aiming for, this is looking good, we've got the 0.1 sine 0.25t, so that's a good start, but we need to work out what c is. So we've been given that the passenger is 5 metres above the ground at the start of the ride. So at t equals 0, h equals 5, putting this into our equation gives us ln 5 equals 0.1 sine 0 plus c, well sine 0 is equal to 0, so c equals ln 5. We've therefore got ln h equals 0.1 sine 0.25t plus ln 5. Now we want to get rid of the log naturals, so if we take ln 5 from both sides, we get this. Using our rules of logarithms, our left hand side will become ln of h over 5, which is equal to 0.1 sine 0.25t. Taking the exponential of both sides gives us h over 5 equals e to the 0.1 sine 0.25t. Multiply both sides by 5 and there's our answer. For part b we need to state the maximum height of the passenger above the ground. If we look at the equation for h, to get the maximum for this we want e to the 0.1 sine 0.25t to be as large as possible, which means we want sine to be as large as possible. Well, the largest sine can be is 1, so h is equal to 5 times e to the 0.1 times 1, 0.1, which equals 5.53 metres. The passenger reaches the maximum height for the second time, t seconds after the start of the ride, find the value of t. So they've reached the maximum height, which means again sine of 0.25t must equal to 1. Inverse sine of this means we've got 0.25t. Now if you put inverse sine of 1 into your calculator you'll get pi over 2, but that is the first value so that's when they reach the maximum height for the first time. The second time that sine is equal to 1 is at 5 pi over 2, hence why we've got this equation here. Multiplying that through by 4 gives us that t equals 31.4 seconds. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.